Zany friends, I am Lainey. And I am Marshall. And we are talking about Pretties for Your Face because she just came out with a new collection that I was super excited about. And if you are interested in seeing more like this, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell down below so you do not miss anything that we are doing related to... Because if you miss it, you won't be able to see it. And if you liked seeing it, then you won't like not seeing it. And so you'll like hitting the button. You see? There's logic here. So in this little haul, uh, she came out with a Hamilton collection. She actually expanded her current Hamilton collection, if that makes any sense. I mean, um, we'll jump into that at the very end because that's probably what I'm most excited about. But I did order a few other things, so I wanted to do that first. So let's start with the freebies that she sent me. Um, I did unbox a little bit of this on my Instagram stories. So if you are following me on Instagram, make sure you are if you're not because I do a lot on stories and now I'm a lot more... A lot more, plus polls and whatnot. So is he. So you can also follow One True Hazard yep. on Instagram because you do a lot of interactive things as well. I'm going to be doing some interactive comic strips. And each Right now we're doing polls to see which one people want to actually see. Hmm. Um, I don't know if you'll have this up in time for that to be finished or if it'll still be running. But do take a look at One True Hazard and always take a look at the stories because that's where the voting actually happens. That's true. So... So she sent me this little bunny soap and Baja Blossom is the scent. There is a slight floral element, I but not a lot. I, I think it's okay. I'm a little weird about like floral scents. I can't take it a lot, but this one might be okay. Yeah, that might be okay. My husband is the one who uses the soap in our family, so I usually use like uh, shower gels and things, but he likes using soap. So a lot of times when I get the soap, I make him use it. And I'm like, tell me if you like it. <laughs> <laughs> but I like it too. Like if we wash our hands with soap sometimes. Yeah. yeah. This I'm excited about though. I will use Luck this. Luck of the Irish. This is a uh, it's so, yeah. But mm. it's super cute. It smells good too. It's it's more citrus in its nature. Yeah, that's why I'm really excited for this because mm. uh, it smells really good. So you can see the shamrocks. The shamrocks in there. I love it. St. Patrick's Day is probably my. Third, fourth favorite holiday? Fourth favorite holiday. Um, I'm not as crazy about it as I am my birthday, Christmas, and Thanksgiving, which all happened within the three month period. But uh, I do like St. Patrick's Day because we are Scottish and Irish. Most more Scottish than Irish, but we are Celtic, so it kind of goes. Mm -hmm. It's all about St. Patrick's Day. Um, and at this point, St. Patrick's Day is next weekend. I don't know if this video is going to get up in time, but it is next weekend. So we need to make some plans. Okay, so the next thing, the things I actually bought. Um, I got this bergamot and black tea bath dust, um, which is well, not only that, but it's also purple. Yes, um, I, I can't, I can't wait. For some reason, bergamot with black tea smells so good. It's got like this earthy smell to it. Here, just smell it, it's, it's just good. Smells like plastic packaging. Cause, okay. <laughs> can you not smell it? I can smell it. I can't smell a thing. <laughs> You're funny. I also got guava and passion fruit hand and body lotion. I had never tried some of our lotion, so I thought this was the time to get it. And guava passion fruit. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. And what, what do you have? Right here is the Taste the Rainbow Lip Balm. It's like which, Skittles? Yeah, basically. Oh, I could eat that. <laughs> do you that's, like that? That's a good smell. Try to put some of this on your really rough hands right now. My hand's so rough right now. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna do some too. I, I was a little dehydrated this week. I've been kind of stressed. Moving is not easy. Moving is hard. We also use, well, they use um, her eczema relief cream, mm -hmm. which you guys love a lot. My husband uses it and he uses it. I don't use it because for some reason something in it, I have weird skin sometimes, like had like it, allergies, I don't know, but something in it made me itch very badly. Um, I think it just had to do with it probably was one of my medications that I had to take and it like made it... The other thing that we end up using, I end up using a lot for my hands, is actually one of our sugar scrubs because they've, it's got a lot of uh, coconut oil in it and that's very moisturizing. Totally. 
All right, let's jump into the Hamilton collection. I wanted to show you her first palette, which she decided she was gonna do a new collection because this one sold so well. So this is the Not Throwing Away My Shot eyeshadow palette, and the inside of it looks like this. The blue one has had some love in and crumpled a little bit, but as you can tell, uh, there are some really pretty colors. The oranges, these ones right here, are great for like a really nice summery coral look with a pop of colors. This is one of my favorite palettes from her. Um, I wanted to show you so you could see how the other one compares when we get to that one, like how you could probably use it together and get both. So the first thing in the collection I wanted to show you that she has is this really cute star bath bomb. It smells really nice. It kind of, it does have glitter on it, but it's a, uh, I think she was saying that it is the not toxic glitter. It will degrade, it's fine, but this is a huge, this would probably two baths. And I'm loving that because our new place has a very large bathtub for me to soak in. My bathtub is not that bad either. Yeah. It's better than the one I'm currently got. Yeah. It's actually got one of those little inclines in there. Yeah, so you can like lay, mine does yeah. too. So this is so cute, I had to get it. Um, so then uh, the eyeshadow palette, which is called Talk Less, Smile More, which I think is so cool. And, and mine broke already. So her shadows are very creamy. And so sometimes you have to repress it. I don't care about that. This is what it looks like on the inside. I actually am wearing it on my lids today. And I'm gonna read it upside down for you. So this one right here is called, no. This one right here is called A Winter's Ball. This one is Right Hand Man. The one in the middle is called A Burr. This is Rise Up and Say No to This. Now, let me show you the other palette so you can see the difference. So on the top we have the original palette and on the bottom we have the new palette. Can you see how these colors would work together to make a like a lot of really nice eye looks together? The reason why I'm saying this honestly is because on my eyes today I tried to use every single color from this palette right here and I'm going to be honest, uh, it did not work as well as I thought it was going to because these two colors right here are a little dark. And I do not have a lot of really great makeup technique. I'm not good at blending, like honestly. I like very simple eye looks, but I like colorful eye looks. So that was my bad. <laughs> it has nothing to do with her shadows. I recommend, if you are like me and don't have a lot of skill, maybe just take two or three of these uh, shadows and put it on your lids. Do not try to combine the darker shades like I did. It just starts to get muddy. But this green right here is gorgeous look at this color so i would say it's so creamy too I just just rubbed right on there it's kind of like a goldish green tint um, i wish i had just put this all over my lid and then just use this in the crease i wish that's all i had done but i did not i'm going to do that again this was the first day that i used this so um all i'm saying is if you took this palette took that like maybe this purpley one right here and added it to like these two or three from the original palette oh that look is going to just be divine like so do you see how these work well together if you don't have both you need to get both and Seriously. If, if you didn't think that she wanted this like if this wasn't intentional close both of those up there you go they're pretty much inversions of each other uh close i mean this one's got a little bit more going on there but these are effectively inversions of each other. It's supposed to tell you that they're supposed to be together. Together. When I found out that she was doing this part, I kind of like squeaked a little bit and was like, oh, yes. And then we uh, have even more interesting news concerning it because it is a little bit more personal to you. She actually contacted me and was like, when we were finishing up the last palette that I did the artwork for, she's like, by the way, um, I'm gonna be doing this would you be able to do the artwork for it? And I'm like, yeah, sure. And so we put together this. So it's a highlighter palette based on the Skylar Sisters. And what's really cool about this is it's called A Mind at Work. Um, what's really cool is it's, uh, the highlighter palette is based on their dresses, the color of the dresses in the play. And so that's what the color of them are mm -hmm. in here. Um, Angelica, Eliza, and Peggy. Um, and then on the inside, 
they are bigger pans, but they are the same colors. The highlighters are the same colors. Mm -hmm. I actually am using this highlighter on my cheek and this highlighter right here on my inner corner and then above my brow bone. I haven't used this green one yet, but if you guys had the Kat Von D Alchemy highlighter palette, this reminds me a lot of this. The only thing it's missing is like a lavender and it would be almost the same, but these are bigger and in my opinion, they are better quality than that the Kat Von B one. Um, so I'm going to swatch this because I am so excited. I have a thing about her highlighters. Um, I kind of go crazy when she comes out with a new highlight. Um, these do have glitter in it. They're a tiny bit patchy for the first swipe. I felt like I had to go over it twice, but it wasn't a big deal to me. So this is what it looks like. I'm actually going to put it over our head so you can see it. So you can see the three colors in here. This is the pink, the blue, and the green. I, I'm her highlighters are to die for. I, I'm just so obsessed Those are with them. Great colors. I'm re I'm really digging it. I love how she's incorporated the gold into them without like overwhelming it because it's like mm -hmm. blue without golden sheen that's interesting yes. i didn't really think of that without it actually being fully green yes exactly so there is a kind of a golden sheen in, in some of these mm -hmm. you can kind of see a little bit more but she was talking and i don't know if she's going to do this but she was talking about maybe doing like a a refillable palette where you could be like i want these three different highlighters and then you can put it in a palette, which I would love because that way I could just take this traveling, you know, put in my three favorite highlighters and like take it off traveling and yeah. have a little, little palette. I mean, I love it. So you guys, if you don't have the original one, you need to get it. If not, just get the other two, <laughs> but you need to. This mm -hmm. is, this is so exciting. I think she's going to do so well and I, I cannot stop gushing about it because I just, I love the colors. I, when I saw the colors in this one, I was like, did you make this for me? Because those are my colors. Like the, the purple and, and there's like two shades of purple and the green. Like these are these are colors I love so much. So much. Thoughts overall. I'm just, I'm really loving her color choices and how she's worked each one of those. They're just gorgeous. I, that's all there is to say about it, people. I can't wait to see what she does for summer uh, because mm -hmm. she usually puts out a really colorful palette. I think last summer it was the Sugar Rush palette from uh, Wreck-It Ralph, and I I loved it. And that was also the same collection that had the the face spray, setting mm -hmm. spray that I that is my holy grail. It's I do a great know, I don't spray. live without it because it smells so good and it works so nice, and I love it. So pick that up too while you're on our site. Awesome. Uh, so again, thank you so much for watching. Um, you can get a code. Uh, if you hold, use the code Laney, you do get, I believe it's 15% off. So look down below for all of that info. And until next time. Stay as Annie. Bye-bye.